Hello guys, hope you guys are all doing amazing. Today is Vlogmas Day 10. And Savan's gonna open his 10th present. I don't always have time to write like- More than that, I got two yesterday. You didn't get two yesterday. Big two yesterday. Okay, then we'll just get 11 and then he <laughs> just skips the next few days. Hey, that's fair. Look at me, look how cozy I am because of my uh, gift yesterday. I didn't give you that. Mm. Well, maybe I did, I don't really know. <laughs> um, but you're gonna open your present today. Okay guys, I'm just gonna say right now, don't judge his present. We are both over the age of 18 and sometimes we like to have adult things, so that's that. I need to guess off of coffee? Yeah. You got me, you said we're over 18, so it might be something beverage related. Maybe. With coffee. Maybe. <laughs> That's my guess. <laughs> Maggie, we got some more bellies. Woohoo! Sorry, it's just a small one, I'm sure. Yeah, cheap. thank you. <gasps> she wants some, look at her. Stefan loves, Stefan loves coffee. I mean, Bailey's in his coffee on a Saturday, Sunday morning. Awesome. His so favorite good. thing. I only got him a small one only because I saw he got a new one, but I also got this just after I noticed he ran out. He ran out and then he went and got himself one. And I was like, That's oh. That's awesome. Well, hey, okay. We'll have no problem getting through this this holiday season. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Stephanie. You're welcome. So thoughtful. I know. <laughs> Maggie, what are you getting? Are you getting your treat? Oh, she's sitting pretty. She's sitting pretty. You like these? You like it a lot? You spin? Oh, good girl. Oh, she's sitting pretty. Okay, gentle. Oh, that's nice. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do something different for Vlogmas. Day 10, I can't believe we're already on day 10. Um, I'm gonna do just a sit down chat with just me. Stefan has been working all day. He works super late and he has a hair dresser's appointment super soon. So I'm just gonna let him eat supper and just chillax while I do a video for you guys. Um, I just wanna give you guys a quick update. So me and Stefan live in El Alberta, Canada and our province is getting pretty much fully shut down on Sunday, which is why Savannah's been busy and which is why we're getting him in for a haircut like two nights, super late, because he won't be able to get a haircut for a month after this. My name's Stephanie and like I said, my boyfriend's name's Stefan and we make videos every day recently. We make vlogs, we make sit down chats, we do challenges. Um, and if you wanna follow our journey, just press that subscribe button down below, like um, our video, comment on our video and turn on those notification settings so you never miss a video. With that being said, let's get right into the video that I want to talk to you guys about. I've had a few people ask me and approach me and talk to me about what it's like to be adopted and what it's like to go through the holidays as an adopted child who really doesn't have a good connection or like contact with her or their adopted family. And um, for those of you who have been following us for a while, you probably have seen part of part of my adoption series or all of my adoption adoption series that I made in the summertime, and it's all about the struggles of being adopted, some of the cons about being adopted, and some of the positives from my perspective. And my perspective is probably so much different than my adopted parents' perspective and my adopted siblings' perspective because we all lived together, but we all saw it through a different eye, and it all led to trauma and anger that has now just made me and my adopted family and siblings not talk much. And that is everybody's fault, not just one person's fault. It's it's a it's a big scheme of a bunch of issues that were never addressed and pain and trauma and hurt and anger that all just piled up and one day it just didn't work out. I want to just kind of talk to you guys about what it, how it feels to just not have them now that they're not really in my life after them being in my life for 19 years. I don't have it as bad as others. Um, some people have absolutely no family to spend time with this Christmas or any Christmas. Some people just, have it way worse than me and I don't want you guys to think that I'm complaining. I'm just talking about my experience as an adopted child. I was adopted from Haiti when I was one years old back in 1998. I was raised with the fa my family up until I was about 20 years old and then that's when it all just came to a plateau and <laughs> went downhill from there. It is what it is at this point. I'm now 22. I'm going on 23 in March and it's just something that I've had to accept in my life and it's a relationship that I do hope will get better but it's never going to be perfect and it's never going to get 
fully fixed and that's another thing I have to accept but the challenge of that is also feeling like I am missing out missing out on a lot of family time missing out on a lot of experiences that biological people biological kids probably wouldn't miss out on and I can't just say that because not not every biological child has it easy and I get that but for me I just feel like I've missed out on a lot already just being an adopted child and so to not spend the holidays with my family just adds on to that trauma and sadness and anger that I have just not being with them and it it sucks I don't want you guys to think that I'm ungrateful like I am so blessed because I have Stefan by my side 100% of the time and I have his family who are just the best support ever and they are so kind and they make the holidays so worth it for me and they are just so lovely but again People like to go home or people like to be able to call their moms and dads or siblings and just say Merry Christmas, ask how everybody was doing, see what's going on. This whole pandemic, I haven't had much contact at all with my siblings, at all with my parents. And when it is contact, it's just anger, unhappiness, not great, not, not anything that I want no relationship that I want with my kids. And it's hard, it really is hard, especially around the holidays when you just want it. Holidays are so centered around family and it sucks when you don't have that. But again, I can't take for granted what I do have and how blessed I am because two, two Christmases ago when me and Stefan had actually just started dating and I had just fallen out with my parents, I genuinely was scared. I didn't know if I was gonna have anybody to spend the holidays with. I didn't know what was gonna go on because I just, I mean, Savannah weren't dating for that long and I didn't want to put that on his family, but they took me in and they were so kind to me and I am forever grateful for that. Trying to figure out who I am and understand my identity becomes hardest around the holidays. Um, it's as simple as just like me and Savannah have a house together, we have a dog, but there are pictures of Stefan around this house, Stefan in his childhood, Stefan in his life, but there are really none from me. There are no pictures of me growing up because they're all just with my adopted family and that's what I struggle with the most and I find that that's the biggest issue that has come up this holidays is my identity and knowing what's my right and knowing what's my adopted parents right I very much believe that it's my right to have pictures of me um from when I was a child from when I was in the orphanage but I think my adopted family believes that it's their right to keep them because they adopt me and those are the first pictures ever and it's hard to sit around your home and have nothing like I don't have anything from growing up and it's it just it comes out a lot more around the holidays because you really notice what you're missing um and what you have always missed out on and that's just kind of how life is and you just have to be happy and grateful and realize what you have because I think one thing that I never took the time to realize when I was growing up is how blessed I was to have a family at the time that was doing their best to love me and care for me and support me. Um, five years ago when I was having Christmas with my family, never did I think that five years down the road I would not be talking to them, I would not be seeing them, whatever. And that's because I completely took it for granted. You never know what's gonna happen in life. And I just want everybody to know just like, cherish every moment because I don't know like I cherish the moments but I don't know if I really took them in and now I sit here and I miss a lot of them and I know I can't get them back but again I am so blessed with what I have and like I'm so blessed to not be alone during COVID and I'm so lucky to have Stefan with me during COVID because I could be in my apartment sitting all alone with nobody and that would be 10 times worse than <laughs> where I am now so <laughs> that's just kind of how the holidays are um it's just kind of like a learning curve. It's kind of just like uh, learning to accept your life and just, yeah, being grateful for what you have and not really dwelling on the past. And just every day I just try to be better and better and grow as a person and really strive to be the best version of me because for so long I wasn't doing that. <laughs> and that's not super healthy and that's not super good. Um, but yeah, and like when Christmas comes, when my birthday comes and everything, I just sit there and I just look and I'm like, man, I could have it a lot worse. And like I said, many people have it a lot worse. There are people who are gonna be spending Christmas alone. There are people who are spending Christmas without their parents because they died. Like, I don't have it that bad. And Christmas is not terrible without my adopted family and holidays are not terrible without my adopted family. But it's hard, I'll be honest. It's hard, but it's not terrible. It's doable and it's life. Um, so yeah, don't take your life for granted. Cherish every moment and know how loved you are and 
just really believe and appreciate the support that you have now opposed to just focusing on what you're missing out on and just don't let that take over your life because it will put you down a very sad and hard road and it's just not worth it um life is too short and it's so precious so yeah just love it thanks for listening and i hope you guys are all doing amazing and yes fan will see you tomorrow bye guys Thank you.